Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Fang, just Fang, Fang with another Fang video. And today we will be talking about the newest update in Pirate Runal 1. Um, the good, the bad, the, the ugly, the pretty. Um, this update was actually, at least for me when I did the stream, was really good. Um, there was just a few things I want to talk about that um, I found not the best, but i um, very happy with it. So if you didn't know, uh, this is Test Realm, you can see the whole test realm thing um basically the whole tartarus update has been released well yeah it has um and i beat it in three hours so that is a pretty good length for an update to be honest with you but the hair i'm gonna start out immediately immediately so this is gonna have major spoilers Honestly, if you want to play it yourself, please do. Um, it's very good. I really like the storyline and everything. I'll be talking specifically about the story here. Um, so, you, you will be spoiled. Spoiler warning. So, at the end, we get revealed that Krakatopia will be the next world. And that Krakatopia... We need to go to Krakatopia in the House of Anubis, specifically, um, for our next quest. Now, let's talk about that. Let's break that down. As said this year, there is going to be no major world update in Pirate 101 this year. Okay? We know this. This has been confirmed 2024. No major world update. Just a world's worth of content without any skyways or anything. Now, you know what confuses me is we have been left on a... Oh, we, we are going to Krakatopia right now. This is going to be the next quest. We are going to Krakatopia. That is... So, unless... If they make it some convoluted way to get to Krakatopia, that's going to take a whole two other parts. I don't really see a way we can get a world's worth of content without going to Krakatopia, which is going to be a new world. Which means, unfortunately, I don't think we'll have a main story update for the rest of the year. Now, I could be completely wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking half gla or glass half empty right now and being like, well, since they said there's not going to be another update... Uh, for any new world, why would we be going to Krakatopia already uh, unless they're planning on not doing anything until the next world? That's my thought process. Obviously, I could be completely wrong. We could be going to we could be going to some random place for an update, but personally, a three-hour-long update <laughs> that I can get done in three hours. Mind you, I was going through all the dialogue, just sit, sitting through every single thing, which I loved, and I, not sitting through it, enjoying it. I enjoyed it plenty. It was great. Um. But honestly, the substance of fighting was not too much. Honestly, I think I can probably count the many, as many fights as the original fights. Because we had, you know, once you get into the actual underworld, you had, you had to go against the guards. And then if you entered the wrong thing, you'd have to go against the beast. And then you had to go against... Oh, it all got mixed up after that. Because, oh man, there was the maze. And then after the maze, you actually get to Pompeii. Um, well, you talk to death and everything, and then, or you talk to Hades, then death, then you go to Pompeii, and then you have to fight the, is it already to the satyrs? And then after the satyrs, the furies, and then you're done. I don't actually remember how many, there might be like one or two more fights, but that's not a lot of fights, to be honest. And, um, it's, it's kind of worrying, because I'm like, oh shoot, this is not a world's worth of content, so what's going to happen? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, because honestly, I cannot tell you, um, what they're actually going to be doing for that. Uh, do I have... Okay, I'm just going to start going to Tartarus, because why not? Um, But let's talk about the good, because there's obviously some good. Look at Orpheus over here. I love the story of Orpheus and Eurydice, and that really helped. It kind of carried the story, because that's what the main story is about. Um, oh, wait, I have a different ship. Oh. um, So basically, the whole storyline is you are going to Tartarus to try and see what's going on with your parents, because... Uh, the witch doctor trainer, uh, Madame Vadima, I don't know how to say her name. This this lady right here down at the bottom. Um, she can't see your sense your parents anymore, and um, you know we're like, who is doing this? And we're gonna have to go to Krakatopia afterwards. And the storyline is very. This is so slow. I guess I didn't really realize this is so slow. Um, the story, the whole storyline is amazing. I love just like. You know, the, the parents' lore is always great. And we're actually finally getting to, like, the main storyline of, like, this is Pirate 101. Sinbad just kind of felt like an offshoot, even though it was main questline. I mean, obviously, they made it main questline after the fact. Um, 
But this is main, main questline. You can tell it's got the parents and it's got... Here's Virgil, by the way. Very cool. Um, it's got the main questline. It's got everything for you, you know? I absolutely loved just, you know, seeing Death again, seeing Contessa talk again, seeing Rapier talk again, seeing all the characters, like, talking amongst each other. The dialogue was great. Charon is really, really cool. I love the model. He's very, very cool. And I just... I know the Tartarus is heavily, heavily... I think even some people said maybe perhaps ripped from Wiz. I don't care. I think it looks amazing and very cool. Um, and then finally, you able to go to Pompeii is very cool, which this is a glitch. If you click the life found, I wonder if it's going to work. Yeah, you just get teleported to Pompeii instead of, you know, <laughs> actually um, going to the life found, which I find kind of weird, um, but it's okay. Eurydice should be right here. Yep. I don't know. I think it looks really good, regardless. Um, am I trapped in Pompeii now? Of course I am. And it, <laughs> I was going to show you guys the funny glitch, but it's fine. So, let's talk about the bugs, because that is definitely a fact. And mind you, this is Test Realm, so I don't really... I'm not going to be too harsh, but there are a lot of bugs in this. I think I'm going to make a YouTube short on every single bug we saw um, during the stream. It was a lot. It, it was a lot, and I think, it, you know, my stream could literally just be a bug report. Like, I didn't want to keep clicking the whole bug thing, because, like, there's a lot. And I'll even show you one right now. You can just, um, th this is probably a bad example, but pretend I don't have the main quest done. If I just, immediately when I get into Pompeii, I could just do this last quest. Like, I could just skip it, which is very interesting. Um, lots of different bugs, lots of geometry just not fitting. Um, lots of invisible walls and just weird things going on. I'm sure that'll be patched. I don't really... It, it, the There's also a lot of audio chopping, which that, I don't know, it can be patched. Um, where, like, just the audio just isn't as quality as normal. I loved all the voice actors. I think all of them did an amazing job. I think it was just implemented kind of poorly. Um, I don't know. The fights. Let's talk about the fights, because that's very important in an update as well. A lot of the fights, I'm going to be honest, felt very unfair. Now, hard and unfair are very different. Hard and difficult and challenging could be like, think of like the cane fight. If you mess up some certain thing in the cane fight, you could be punished very severely. I don't remember an example, but it just felt like it, if you did something wrong, you will be punished. These fights, some normal enemies will do 1k base damage to you and then do relentless until you're dead and you didn't even get to react. It just feels like more unfair than challenging because like what'd you do wrong? You weren't punished for anything. You were just punished for standing there and not being able to do anything. That's kind of like the helpless mentality and I don't know what they're going to do because you know Simbad chapter 3 has been nerfed um, and I wonder if they're just going to keep putting out like it's not difficult, but just, like, very kind of annoying quests. Like, it, the most recent part will be very hard, and then they will, you know, tone it back for them so then the casual players can get it. Um, I wonder if that's their strategy right now. I kind of don't understand why. Why wouldn't they just keep it not like that? Um, or they might just keep this the same. It wasn't too hard. It was just... And there was no, like, unique things besides, like, cloak and dagger. That's the only thing I can think of. But again, doing like a thousand base damage and just absolutely wrecking me <laughs> and Sean when we were playing, that was rough. And I mean, it just felt like we were punished for no reason. We just had companions that were instantly down and we wouldn't, we got, it was like two turns in. We didn't even get to do anything. So it was like, dang. Um, and like my musketeer playing musketeer, you know, you have a lot of accuracy, you know, and you're still not hitting through. And it almost seems like what, what's the point of being a musketeer then if you can't hit through a single thing and they're like a, they have, like, they're not specifically a swashbuckler, so they shouldn't be dodgy that much. So, I don't know. It's definitely interesting, and their stats have to be crazy. And I wonder if it's being implemented, because eventually, hopefully when the level cap gets raised, they'll be like, oh, now it's actually fair, because then the pirate will have more abilities and stuff. And I know they're giving us, like, Hades gear, which is actually really good. Um, I'm not going to spoil the Hades gear, because um, I'm probably going to do a different video on, like, patch notes and all the gear. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, this is just a real rudimentary, like, talking about the whole update as a whole. Um, yeah, I don't think the fights are very meaningful. I mean, I like all the dialogue and everything. And I actually, I really like going um, and stealing the obol from that one guy. He was, his voice actor was amazing. And I love the emotion in his voice and, you know, the sorrow of not being able to actually go to Tartarus. And, you know, it was like, 
yeah, that, that was that was great. That was like my favorite part. It's gotta be. But I don't know. Everything else, it kind of meshed together. Probably because it was late at night. I didn't realize I was gonna be streaming until midnight. But um, no, I think the area looks really good. I think the story implications are very very good. I'm excited to see. Some people are saying Morganth, perhaps because it's like web weaving and stuff. And obviously that's a major thing. And I keep talking about wizards. And you know, I think we're finally you know that big connection because. You know the Hades dungeon and wizard, they keep mentioning death, or Hades let in wizards, and death is not happy about that, and now they're letting in pirates, and I'm like, this is such a funny, like, implication. Um, you know, I, I just think it's nice whenever the game does, like, a cool, like, thing, because pirates, obviously, Pirate 101 happens after Wiz canonically, um, so seeing, like, the result of the wizards, and then in the pirate world is very, very cool to see. Um, it, it, it's so cool. Um... And it, 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 that's another example I can think of is like Meow Artie in Newgate Prison, or it's not Newgate Prison, that's in uh, Wiz. Uh, whatever the, you know, the prison is where Catbeard's being held, you know, he's he was captured. I think that's really cool just to see. Uh, looks like I can get back through here. No, but I, I think every they did a, everything very well, except obviously there's a lot of bugs. Those will be patched out. I think the amount of content... I'm really, really hoping that it... Oh, it just sent me back to the beginning. Okay, I guess I'm stuck here. <laughs> Great. I'll just go back to Skull Island. So, I think the amount of content is iffy at best, because I really hope that they do another update this year. If this is the only update, I can definitely see just that just not being enough content, because although it might be cool and very awesome, that's the same word for cool, um, it's just not enough. It's just not enough in general. Um... I don't know. I, it's hard to explain. I just don't think that it would be enough content for it to warrant a whole year. Um, I do also really like the title, like the Orpheus Club. Like this little like brimstone thing is really sick. I think it's always nice when they have a little cosmetic thing. And then the also the other one is get over here is Grave Discussions. That's a cool one as well. Have a conversation with Death. That's pretty cool. Um, I think they implemented that very well, and I think the story is really good. I think the art is really great. I like going back to Aquila and going through and talking to Orpheus and, you know, getting the oval and getting the time and everything. I think it, it, it very fits the main storyline type of beat. It's just the length, the worry that since we're immediately going to go to Krakatobia, what's going to happen? It's like, oh no, are we not going to get an update this year? And, um, you know, we haven't implemented any companion promos. I wonder if in Krakatopia we'll have a bunch of companion promos. Um, it was cool to see, like, as I said, Contessa and even Hocules, you know, talking uh, in the main storyline, you know, because Contessa is now like a canon part of the crew, you know, because, you know, all the ones where all the classes get it, you'll see them a lot. So seeing Contessa from Valencia Part 2 in there was very cool. So it'd be cool to see her getting a promo. Obviously, Hocules has promos that he has available, so that would also be cool to see. Um, it, it, it's, yeah. I think overall that this is like a very good starting point because with Sinbad part, or with all the Sinbads, I'm like, oh shoot, how, what are we going to be doing after this? Like after the Sinbad arc. Now I know that there's a clear and concise thing that we are going to be doing. We are going to Krakatobia, we're going to the House of Anubis. Now, I had a discussion with my chat a little bit when I was streaming. Again, I stream sometimes, so look out for that. Join my Discord, it'll be in the description if you want to, if you're still here. Just join join up the Discord, it'll say when I'm streaming and post a video. Um, but honestly... I really hope they don't reuse the Krakatopia assets. I, I think that's a sentiment that most of us can agree with. Um, uh, the Tartarus assets, luckily I never did Tartarus and Wiz, so it kind of felt new to me. But obviously if it's reused, it, you can kind of tell. Um, the Krakatopia assets are so old and dated, they cannot be doing that. They, there's no excuse. They have to make their own assets. And I know it's going to take a lot longer, but it will be so worth it. Imagine a remake of Krakatopia in Pirate 101. How much like traffic that would drive to Pirate 101 because the Wizard 101 community would love that. It's like a remake of an old world that they have, like, you know, haven't played in forever. And, you know, it's been such an old world and they're finally getting a remake in this sister game that some of them even forgot about. They'll help them remember. They'll get membership. They'll play through the game. They'll get to Krakatopia. They'll be like, whoa, this is really sick. And they'll play Pirate 101. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm really hoping 2025. Seems like, I keep saying this, every other next year is going to be really good, but I think 2025 will be the year that we'll get a new world. Um, and I'm, re I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be really nice. Um, let me know what you guys think of the new update. I honestly think it's just a good bridge to the next 
major major update but i'm really hoping that we get at least something maybe like a quality of life plus like you know like burns uprising like a side content thing again um for the next update just something to get us over until the new world you know but that, again that's not a whole new world's worth of content for this year i, I it's, it's difficult what they're actually going to do with this maybe they're completely switching it up and they're going to actually release a new world this year i cannot tell you um i would tell you if i could but that, those are all speculations. I honestly, it, it just it gave me more questions than it answered, to be honest. I mean, it answered that we're going to Krakatopia, but then this whole, like, world schedule is like, huh, I don't know. So, honestly, that, that's really all I have for this video. Um, just a quick video, um, not too much. If you want to see the actual whole, like, reaction to all the lore stuff and everything, I have the stream posted. I could also just upload a longer form content video if you want me to of the entire thing. Um, I, I'd trim it down, obviously, and just do the, like, the cool parts, kind of like I did with Simba Part 2. Um, let me know if you want to see that. Um, and then I'll also be probably doing uh, a YouTube short about all the bugs, so if you want to check that out, it will probably be out um, probably before the weekend. We'll see. Um, my schedule's a little weird, but I wanted to get this video out soon enough so then I could just talk about my opinions of the update. So I appreciate you guys uh, sticking around with the videos. Um, uh, you know, my last video was the burnt out thing. I'm feeling... Much better than I did in that uh, in that video, and uh, I'm very happy that there's an update. And it always it always brightens my mood when there's a part one on update because I get to talk about new stuff instead of just keep talking about the same old stuff. So, um, and also look out for that April extra credits objective that will probably happen towards the later end of the month. It might again just be a YouTube short because uh, the extra credit objectives are kind of bland recently. Um, don't tell them I said that. <laughs> if you guys are still watching, don't 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 at Kings out. I don't know. It's kind of it's like spring cleaning and i don't really do housing so i'm not 100 sure what i'm supposed to do with that but we'll figure out something it'll be it'll be a banger just as always so i appreciate everyone who sticks around to the end of the video um for you you get to watch a oh oh wait whoa 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 whoa, whoa. i didn't realize that this was available uh you guys get an exclusive look what that's okay okay let's let's look at this real quick okay live reaction <laughs> you guys i didn't even realize this so we get the personal pirate player and then music scrolls let's try that for a second real quick oh my gosh you get it as like a pack okay interesting let's go to my house real quick and let's do this okay i didn't even realize that okay hurry up load my house please oh my gosh the exclusive end watchers get to see all this unfold okay let's see so, where's the music player? Yeah, look right there. Okay, then I think we just interact with it? No? That's usually how it works in Wiz, unless I forgot. Maybe not, maybe not. Let's see. It's so quiet. Removed. Hello? Is it not implemented yet? I'm confused. Usually there's like a... Like a setting thing that you can do with this. Uh, am, I, am I going crazy? Let me know in the comments if I've forgotten how to do this. Huh. Maybe it's not fully implemented yet. But yeah, let's look at the gear real quick. Um. So here's just the Hades gear in general. Let's buy this. That's sick. Okay. So I think this is this is literally just Hades gear ported directly from hold on we're gonna we're gonna get the full hades gear this is gonna look sick oh i'm so hyped um which one's the do they not have oh yeah they got the okay and then is there a gun no huh no gun let's do the sword and shield it looks the coolest okay maybe not <laughs> let's um this is really cool. This is actually sick. I didn't realize that they had this. And they really should have put new, not hot. But let's see. This one looks cool as well. It's got, like a, it's got like a cool style to it. We'll look at the actual like stats in a second. I just want to get a picture for the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I probably should get into actual <laughs> Tartarus for this, shouldn't I? Um... But yeah, no, I, I think that, I don't know, this this is sick, by the way. I'm actually, like, low-key so 
so that oh my gosh that's so cool um i never got the hades gear in wiz so this is definitely different for me um let me get back on my mount and just sorry guys i didn't think it, i would be doing this real quick um this is this is completely unprompted i'm gonna be honest okay but we'll, we'll check it out while we're sailing back to tartarus okay i love how the music just went back in okay the music i don't think works anymore or yet um so we got this is the um hold on let's just go through it this is the swashbuckler it gives sneaky sneaky and then bonus for agil or will so that'd be really good for heals this is what they have hermes speed blitz it gives you 50 percent dodge and so it's basically you you hurt yourself and you get a bonus. So 50% dodge and movement for three rounds. Um, this is going to be um, for... Huh, interesting. Repost for privy. Then you get bonus agility. And then you get a basically... It looks like a... Huh. You get bonus... I wonder if you can select it for someone? Or maybe not. Maybe it's just plus 25% weapon power, spell power, crit, and dodge. Huh, that doesn't really seem like a privateer type of thing. I don't know. And then we also got Witch Hunter, which will be good. And then bonus agility. Then you got um, this Zeus's Underworlds thing. Reminds me of um, the Zeus gear from <laughs> uh, Mount Olympus for Wiz. Um, uh, Hecate, um, you get Redacted Spell, and you get base uh, strength. Um, and then you get basically like a he Hecate's Drought. Uh, so 146, uh, damage to self, uh, and then plus 75% for five turns. And then you get Eagle Eyes, increasing your range. Um, and then you got Artemis. Uh, that's really cool. You get a bonus burst fire. That is very, very good. Wow, okay. And then, and then the aim of Art Artemis. What is that? Oh, you get 50% more range and weapon power. And it's increased, uh, can you get Overwatch? Okay. <laughs> the musketeers is is busted that's wild and then you get vengeance strike and bonus will so your heals will do better you get jump and will which jump is okay actually jump is pretty good and then you get wrath of Ares. wow okay um i'm going to get back to you guys i'm gonna basically because i have a level 70 for every single character um i can just buy the middle thing and i could do it on a tr Trogi and just see or just do it in, in a fight and see what it looks like um so let me real quick do that and i'll get right back to you guys for that. that oh my gosh that's very sick i didn't realize you could buy it uh so yeah let's get that okay uh, i'm back and i almost completely forgot to mention the actual weapon so let's look at that as well um so it looks like there's no guns unfortunately but there is the smashy weapon which is leap smash leap to an open square and smash the ground dealing what? That's so sick. Okay, we're gonna have to try that one out. Um, it looks like it just all gives Leap Smash. So we'll just have to try what Leap Smash does. Um, so we're gonna first try it with the Musketeer. So let's get to the... What? <laughs> Why do they have the 11 gallon hat? That's awesome. I love that. I love Test Realm and just how goofy people are in Test Realm. Okay. Boom. So here we go. We're looking like a boss. I'm not even gonna lie. Wow, I love that hat by the way. It just it makes everything better Doug Dimodome ah uh -uh hat. Okay, let's use this Okay, here we go. So it's It's this. Oh Okay, no, no, it's not that it's this it doesn't have a background interesting aim of Artemis Okay, so this is aim of Artemis um, it does uh, 1400 damage to self and then Plus 50% range and attack. Okay, so let's try this out. I also got my Doug Dimodome hat, so let's go. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I can't wait to see this animation and just see what it's about. We didn't get it this time. Let's just pass. Do not go that far up. No, no, you're gonna... Okay, good. They didn't activate my Overwatch. Good, okay, please. Please, game. Yes, okay, here we go. Oh, I'm so interested to see what this looks like. Oh, interesting. So you like slam the ground, you get eagle eyes, and you get plus. Interesting. Okay. Very nice. Okay, that's that's a cool animation. Okay, let's try with the other classes as well. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> we got that one already. Um, I think I... Oh, man, I really hope they're level 70, right? Level 70, level 70, level 70. Yeah, yeah, okay. Buccaneer time. 
You guys, you guys get the behind the scenes because this is definitely becoming a YouTube short. Yeah, this is definitely becoming a YouTube short. So, for this one, we got the the Ares Underworld Garb. Let's just get the full thing. Here's the new pet, by the way. Um, not too interested in that. We'll do the Leap Smash as well. Okay, here we go. The full set. Oh boy. And this. Oh, we are decked out. Wow, okay. Very cool, very cool. Okay. Oh, I don't have any other mount. Okay. So we're gonna try out that Leap Smash as well, just to see what that's about. Um, hopefully we can do the Ares and then the Leap Smash. Let's see. Whoa. Goofy Goober over there. Okay, let's try this out in Buccaneer. So we got the, uh, the Smashy Weapon as well. We're gonna try Leap Smash and see if we can get that. Um... Let's see. Oh, we have Leap Smash. Okay. I would like to do Ares first. We can just... What? You can jump to... Wait, how much range is this? Nine tiles. Okay, let's just try this out. Oh, man. This is crazy. Let's try it. What? You teleport and then you just... <laughs> what? And they get pushed and then what is going on? <laughs> it looks like all of them have the same animation. I thought I was going to, like jump in the air and go crazy okay interesting i almost teleport huh huh interesting okay huh that, <laughs> that's an interesting power it looks really buggy right now i really do like the implication for that and that's is that a lot of damage yeah that's like a thousand let's watch that again or let's see if we get aries as well uh now we got leap smash again I want to, like, just go to, like, a random place. Like, let's go way back here. We just teleport. What? And that's you a thousand damage and push him back. Significantly, too. It's, like, that seems like a lot. Okay, let's see if I can get Ares down. Yeah, let's see what this looks like. I think it's just the same. Boom. Ow. Oh, man, I don't know if that's worth it. That's, like, half my health. Yeah, which, let's see how much that actually gives. Come on. 150 extra weapon power, and I don't think 17 armor is very significant. I don't know about 150 as well. Let's see. Boom. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's try on the, uh, the next class as well. I think they're all just going to have the same animations. But that Leap Smash is a... Uh, that's an interesting one. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, Swashbuckler time. I don't even know where I am in this. Okay, I'm way down here. <laughs> um, so the swashbuckler one is... Should be Hermes, because that's like the fast boy. Um, yeah, Hermes. Where are you? Yeah, Hermes. So this gives Hermes is whatever. Why do they have the starter bundle cheaper? That's... That's confusing. Okay. So it gives Hermes Speed Blitz. Let's see what this is all about. I didn't realize this video was going to turn into such a longer video because I didn't realize the gear was available for Test Realm. So thank you guys everyone for sticking around. I like pranked you guys with the outro. Oh, they're doing a test over there. We'll go We'll go to these Troggies. Okay. I, I Again, I think this is just the same animation. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't select it up. Oh man, that's not... This might have been a fumble, guys. It is. That's rough. Oh, no, fan. Fan, don't do it. Dang, fan. Chillax. It's okay. This musketeer can't do a re activate repost on us. So we're just going to real quick do this. Or I thought bro was going to hit through that. Oh, man. I should have got out the new weapon. My bad. But let's try this out. It's going to be the same animation. Boom! That's a lot of damage, and you get increased dodge and increased movement. Okay, interesting. Or, or did not get. Okay, let's see how much movement and how much dodge we got. Come on, ninety dodge seems pretty significant, and I can move the entire range of the screen. That's pretty cool. Nice. Boom! 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 Yeah, there we go. Orp is dead. I'm sorry. Okay, let's try it on the next one. Uh, I think what we have left is just Witch Doctor, right? Uh, I'm thinking of- I'm forgetting Privateer, my main guy. What am I doing? 
All right, well, we'll get you privy. Uh, we'll, we'll do an, the outro on privy as well. Okay, so this one we got Hecate's. Um, which I did some reading on Hecate back in the day. Back in the day. It was it was for uh, my Worlds of Ancient Greece and Rome class, which actually has helped me realize how cool Aquila is and how many references Pirate actually has with all that stuff. So uh, this one gives uh, Hecate's Drought. And it basically is just a harm to self, and you just get a bunch more. Imagine this This is going to stack with Scratch. I actually want to try that, how much it can just stack with Scratch to get, like, an absurd amount. Let's see this. I'm actually kind of hyped now. Okay. Do I not have... Do I not have max Scratch? I guess that doesn't really matter in this scenario. Um, for five rounds. Yeah, we're chilling. Let's do this first, though. And then boom. Oh, they're gonna get over here. That's unfortunate. So a lot of damage and then increased spell power. Then more increased spell power. Do not go near me. Yes, just stay there. Thank you. You do, want, you, you do not want to go near me, my friend. Okay, so we already have 119. So it already gives more than uh, the middle one for Scratch, and it gives the same amount of turns. So that's a lot of spell power. And then we got more spell power. Well, okay, that, that's Juju. So that's going to be even more will. Not great Juju, unfortunately. And then more spell power. Okay. I would really like to see this stat, so they need to watch out. Oh, no. No, not Overwatch. He blocked! He blocked! Oh, man, okay, it's going to kill him. I, don't, I won't be able to see how much it is. That's a lot of spell power, though. That's wild. Because we have, what, 175, 119, and then probably plus 100%. This is going to be busted for Witch Doctors, if they can actually get their heals back. Because that is a lot of damage. That's half your health. Oh, it just does half your health no matter what. That's kind of crazy. But, um, very interesting. Okay, let's try it on Privy real quick. That That's crazy. That's, that's a pretty good uh, buff. That's going to be interesting. I wonder how they'll change that for PvP. Um, okay, so finally we got Stormy Sam. Okay, I apparently received a gift. Oh, they lied to me. What the heck? Armada's most wanted. Really? Can we get a fact check on that? Okay. So let's go for... What is it going to be? It's Zeus's. Obviously, if it's Zeus's, that means that... We can buy it with gold, too, as well. Um, Zeus's... That means that Privy's the best class, because Zeus is the best, you know? We'll buy the Moon Horse for this character as well. And a Sword and a Shield. That really does not go well together, does it? <laughs> but we got the Moon Horse. Very cool, very cool. Okay, let's see. So this will be... This one is called... Zeus's Might. Oh man, that looks really good. I wonder if we can choose to get it on someone. It just looks like a nuke as well, which I find super funny. Very interesting. Okay, let's, let's see how this goes. I'm quite interested. <laughs> Here we go. With El Toro, good old El Toro. Zeus's might just chilling there. An absolute nuke. Okay, let's see what this does. I know it's gonna have the same animation, then what else? So half our health. It just gives us a bunch of stuff. Interesting. Okay, so it will just... I don't know if we need crit, though. The spell power will be nice for heals. The weapon power is unneeded. I think this is probably... Might be the worst one. Just It matters how you play Privy. You get... Plus weapon power, plus spell power, plus 25% crit rating is wild. And then plus dodge. You just get everything. Let me just do a smash like this. And boom. And they get pushed two times. Okay, interesting. Two tiles away. Huh. Also, the new gear looks like... The Hades gear looks great, but like also these weapons look also phenomenal. Like, it's great. I just got a Valencian charm. From a Trogi, huh? But yeah, there's everything. I didn't realize I was going to go for a whole <laughs> gear review here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And um, let me know what you guys think of the update. The, the gear is very interesting as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.